please welcome Kevin Clark, Lucasfilm Limited's Director of IT Operations. Kevin. Hey, Kevin, thanks a lot for coming down from San Francisco and sharing with us a little of your time. You know, as we just saw, we've uh, collaborated together on a lot of cool movies. Why don't you talk a little bit about what's behind those, Absolutely. those scenes? Well, first of all, thanks for having me. You bet. Uh, as you know, four years ago, we made the decision to partner with AMD based on the Opteron architecture. And uh, that's been a great relationship for us to date. We, uh, through all the divisions of Lucasfilm, we've adopted across our production systems the AMD platform. So ILM, for example, Industrial Light and Magic, has been very successful over the last four years uh, on a number of effects heavy shows, Star Wars Episode Three and Two, the Pirates of the Caribbean series. We, in fact, won an Academy Award uh, in Pirates Two for the Davy Jones character. Uh, Transformers, as you just saw, uh, as well as Iron Man recently. And another film that uh, it didn't get as much notoriety is it's called Poseidon. It's a, ship about, it's a film about a ship in the ocean. There was actually no physical ship or no water shot in that film at all. That was all CG. And the fact that we could actually create and produce and, and render that was pretty amazing uh, in the industry. Uh, on the Lucas Animation side, we recently produced Clone Wars. We have a feature that came out in August, a TV series that's now out on the Turner Broadcast uh, Network. Uh, and also LucasArts, uh, for our internal production groups, we've recently released uh, The Force Unleashed. And again, these are all based on AMD uh, platform systems. Uh, and making that decision has really enabled us to provide a scalable, cost-effective uh, architecture and infrastructure across Lucasfilm, which certainly makes my job much easier. Uh, and we've been able to do some fairly creative things, which really, uh, I think we've got a competitive advantage based on that decision uh, on the industry. So, for example, you know, we've, we've worked with uh, AMD, helping with some of our early previs efforts through our rendering pipelines. And uh, we can, in fact, use a distributed rendering solution where we pull in workstations off hours into our render pool so we can expand from approximately 6,000 processors that we've got within our data center to over 7,000 overnight, which really gives us, again, another competitive advantage, both on cost and in terms of energy savings, things like that. That's great, Kevin. Now, you talked about rendering. And as probably most in the audience know, rendering is an incredibly compute-intensive task and is one which is largely done offline in kind of a batch mode. Right. Um, one of the things that we're going to be talking about later this morning is the opportunity we see looking forward to do realistic rendering in real time. How does that sound to you? Well, wonderful. As you know, uh, we're, Lucasfilm does everything that we can to get what we can out of our resources. So anything that AMD can provide to us to enable us to that end, we're absolutely interested in exploring. Well, you're going to love what you're going to see soon then. Looking forward to it. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Kevin. Dirk. Thank you. Take care.